Hello guys, today is a bit of a different video. Unfortunately, it is not a vlog. I have to say that I have missed vlogging so much. This is the first time in 45 weeks that I haven't been vlogging throughout the week. Half of me feels so free, but the other half of me is like, oh, I miss you guys so much. There's so many things I wanted to catch up with you guys this week. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I have launched my jewelry range with Skinny Dip. I have been crying reading you guys' comments. Every single time I even watch back that video, I cry watching myself again. I don't know why, I'm such a crier. When I see other people cry, I cry. When I see myself cry, I cry again. The launch of my jewellery range is coming up this week, Thursday. So I really wanted to kind of take you guys along with me and show you guys like the hard work that it's got to get to this point of launch. Because there wasn't a vlog this week, there's a couple of things I want to update you guys on. Grang has officially quit his job. Yeah! So we are officially going to start working together. We got onto the phone to our accountant and he's going to be added to the payroll. So yes, he will be getting paid now that he's left his other job. And then also on the other hand, some sad news. My sister has actually been tested positive for COVID. For all the years that I've known my sister, I probably can count on like one hand the amount of times that I've seen her ill. So she's feeling very poorly at the moment, coughing left, right and centre. So it would mean the world to me and her, I'm sure, if you go and send her a couple of encouragement words saying that she can beat COVID's ass. I really want to talk to you guys and show you guys some clips on some of the samples that we've received. I also want to show you guys some things that didn't make the cut as well. Can you guys believe that I actually had so many more things planned? The timing didn't work out. We couldn't do the adjustment so we had to scrap so many things. So I'm here to spill the tea. I've seen so many influencers recently. They've been launching their own brand which is so amazing. I'm like so happy for them and one day I hope to join that bandwagon. But I I really want to involve you guys because a lot of people they just release something and you guys have no idea what's going on behind the scenes like I feel like a lot of you guys know what's happening especially when you follow my weekly vlog I feel like most of the time you guys know nearly everything about my life but it just goes to show that even though I weekly vlog there's massive things that I hide such as a collaboration and you guys don't know what's happening so I'm here to fill you guys in so if you guys want to see all the behind the scenes the nitty-gritty the old vlog footage then please keep watching. Let's start from the start. Okay, so officially we started talking to the Skinny Dip team last year, October. So it was a long time ago. And then obviously we had to like sort out the contract and stuff like that. And then November came around of 2019 and they invited me to come down to the Skinny Dip headquarters. There was like, bring any kind of like examples of like some things that you want to bring out. They actually left the door open for me and what I wanted to do, which is amazing, right? Because whenever you do a collaboration they kind of tell you like they want you to bring out this or they want you to bring out that but Skinny Dip has been so amazing they've literally left the door wide open for me so I could have done whatever I wanted to do from the get-go guys if you've been following me for a long time I've always said I love jewelry and I love pajamas okay pajamas don't you worry guys that's next on my list that is going to be my 2021 goal so I felt like with Skinny Dip I could really tackle jewelry with them and I felt like it was such a dream come true to be able to do something that's outside the realm of like makeup and beauty you know I bring in all of my jewelry guys I'm gonna insert a little clip here of me on my way to go to the skin dip headquarters oh my god one the camera is so old it's my old vlogging camera so the camera quality is so shit compared to my vlogging camera now yes to upgrades yes to style from the butter now we're here hey hi guys so today is such an exciting day today I'm actually working on my next collab collaboration which I am so excited about because it has nothing to do with makeup guys ah! your girl is venturing out and I am gonna be doing a collaboration with skinny dip ah! this is so exciting unfortunately you guys won't see this vlog today is November the 11th 2019 and you guys won't even see this video until 2020 which I literally cannot believe is 2020 in a couple of months time this is crazy i have bags and bags and bags of stuff to show the skinny dip team i have been dreaming of having my own jewelry collection for the longest time ever i love all things sparkly i just love the bling guys and i just honestly feel like there ain't a collection out there 
that is tailored for bling. So here we are today, creating what is not on the market at the moment, as we speak anyways. I am so excited. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. We have little Gran here. What's up? He's my little chauffeur driving me to the Skinny Dip head offices, which is so exciting, guys. With every collaboration I do, I learn so many more things about being a businesswoman, being a creator, bringing out your own products. It's something really exciting, really nervous. It's like you put all your energy, heart and soul into it. And you're hoping by every single meeting that you meet with the design team that your vision will come to life. What so we can do, because they're going to be such statement pieces anyway, mm -hmm. I think with the amount of crystals that are going to be in it, I think we'll make sure that the crystals are a nice quality and yeah. a nice shine. So that it won't come across cheap like cheap that you're worried about oh my goodness guys look at this book of crystals oh so pretty that clip was so funny to watch back because that Twee was so naive. She didn't know what coronavirus was. She was just stuck in the 2019 blitz. Like, oh my God, I can't believe it's gonna be 2020. And now we're at the end of 2020. I'm like, bitch, you don't even know. The pandemic is gonna hit your ass. So I actually didn't get to vlog that much that day because I was so excited, I was so nervous. It's the first time I'm ever meeting the team. And you guys can hear a little clip of someone from the Skinny Dip talking about how I was so scared of making the jewelry look cheap. That's not what I wanted. Like I wanted wanted this jewelry line to look expensive. I wanted it to look like a bougie kind of jewelry line, but I wanted it to be really affordable. The main thing that I said I really wanted was to be super affordable, to ship worldwide, and I want the stones to be sparkly. I don't want it to be like cheap, dull looking stones. So we had to discuss whether we wanted like gold dip jewelry, which is gonna be more expensive, but then we had to spend less on the gems. And I was like, Oh my god, it's so hard, right? It's like a double-edged sword. Do you want the stones to be a cheaper quality, but then you get a better metal? Because I still wanted it to be affordable. That was the main thing, right? I said to them, can you please just try to find a material that is not going to irritate my ears? I have really, really sensitive ears. So the Skinny Dip team went off and they went to go find a hypoallergenic metal, which is what we ended up using, which is amazing. And it's also nickel-free. And nickel is the thing that is in so many jewellery pieces especially kind of more like costume kind of more a fashion jewelry you get a lot of things with nickel in it and that's what makes my ears so irritated my jewelry line is nickel free i just wanted this jewelry line to really represent me and what i feel like is not really on the market which is really hard you know guys there's so much jewelry out there i was like what can i bring to the table that's like so unique i didn't want to slap my name on anything i'm going to tell you guys now okay being an influencer i see all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes there's so many Many other influencers I'm not gonna say any names they literally go into a collaboration and just think of it as like a money grab I've heard stories of influencers going into like collaboration meetings and they literally just say to the team you make whatever you think will sell the most and then just put my name on it and I just couldn't think of anything worse like my name is so important to me I don't want anything ruining my name I will never put my name on anything that I don't believe in that I don't like that I didn't design myself I knew from the get-go that I wanted to be really involved into the design process, which I feel like all influencers should be. It actually really disgusts me that there's influencers out there that will literally just slap their name on anything and just call it a day. But, you know, hopefully you guys can see that from this collaboration, I really did put my heart and soul into everything. In this next clip, you guys will see that I literally sat there and I designed every single piece. And we was there for ages on Photoshop, like tweaking everything and using those kind of images that we worked up my photoshop to send off to the lab okay guys so it is the 25th of november now and i am on my way to go and design my jewelry Woo! i'm literally gonna sit down with the team and draw out exactly what i want a lot of the other collaborations that they've kind of done normally the person kind of tells them what they want and then the designer will literally like sketch out something and they normally like go ahead and produce samples that way but for me i'm a bit more extra i like things very specific and i have so much jewelry and so much knowledge about what exactly i want we are literally gonna go in today and i'm gonna like design piece by piece which is so exciting but i'm so freaking nervous as well because i've never done anything like this before i literally just went to go buy more earrings 
<laughs> market research and all that, you know? Look how crazy this is. So I'm literally designing all my pieces one by one and we are literally designing everything right on the wall right now. So I'm literally like changing everything. We're adding stuff. We're making each chain a little yeah. bit longer. Oh my God, love it. Yeah. We're also trying on some ear cuffs as well. Look at all this jewellery inspiration I have. Bags upon bags of jewellery up in here. <laughs> Look at these ear cuffs, guys. Look at this dripping down. I literally love it. You can either go bigger at the bottom and go smaller or go the opposite way. This bit on the actual ear lobe a bit bigger as well. Yeah. So it's going to take this a bit more. Can we add one more spike? Like, go into... This little ear bit a bit more. So that, that the bit at the bottom. Yeah, ah, uh, yes. So that flower yeah. continues right yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. That was the first time I ever worked with like a design team. Obviously, like it was such a collaborative thing with me and Skinny Dip. It wasn't just me like their design everything. It was like me saying like, let's make this gem a bit bigger. Let's make it go a bit more into the ear. Let's make this dangle drop a bit more. So it was really, really cool. Like I have to give a big props to Skinny Dip. Like they just gave me free reign to do everything, which is so amazing. There's some brands out there that literally want to give you like a small piece of the creative kind of puzzle, which sucks. You know, you want to be able to be as creative as you can if you're putting your name on something. Okay, so in the next clip, you guys are going to see a very spotty tweet. I did not have a good skin day that day, I must say so myself. After we had the first meeting where we were designing everything, when you see the samples come back from what the factory kind of interpreted from your flat images, it's like, oh oh no this is not what we designed at all okay guys so i'm at my first ever sampling where i get to see all the products that we designed for my earrings we've only got a couple of the samples but oh my god i'm so excited i'm dying to see all the multi-packs i've got hoops small hoops big hoops i've got one of the studs i feel like the Wobbly. hole needs to be a bit smaller it's before yeah we can make it a little bit smaller like that. Yeah, I think the loop needs to be smaller. I also feel like this bit can be a bit bigger. So it's quite obvious it goes from big to like small. I do feel like it needs to be sparkly. I feel like the gem is a little bit dull. They're really sparkly. You can see in the light. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah, they're very. I love this bit. I think something else needs to be added. We also have some ear cuffs as well. I definitely feel like these need to be more adjustable. Okay, so this is what we designed before. So I basically want this long piece of jewellery to kind of cuff around the ear. So it looks like it's going through it. And then when you see the sample, it looks like this. But I feel like I want to change it now so it's more like a C shape. So I want this to loop around the ear here and go back round. So we're going to work on that next. How crazy was that? You guys saw the first designs of this earring right here. It was so crazy watching that back because I remember getting that back and I was like, that's not what I wanted. Why is it so big and so round? So this pair right here, we actually went through so many different versions of this. When this first came, it had like a massive hole and it went from like really big to like super, super skinny. And I was like, mm. in the end, we managed to nail it. And I really love this pair. I feel like it kind of like tapers just enough where it doesn't look like, oh my God, that's so weird. That's so fat at the top and then really skinny at the bottom. So I'm so happy with how it turned out. In the clip that you guys just saw, one of the skinny dip team actually broke the the sample that we got and we kind of like moved it and we kind of played around with how big we wanted this loop like all of these things you guys would never think you have to think about how big this hole is gonna be and how much you want that bit to curve like who thinks of that when it comes to jewelry you just think like oh you just want it to be like a loop right but there's so many things that actually go into this i feel like for me because i got to know the whole story of every single piece it really means a lot to me hopefully by me showing you guys this video maybe you guys can see a little insight and that story can maybe like resonate with you and you can think of it if you ever do pick up that pair of jewellery anyways in that clip you guys also saw the beginning stages of this earring right here i feel like this layering pack of earrings is going to be the first to sell out i'm going to put it out there in the universe i'm not too sure what you guys are the most interested in i feel like this is going to be pretty pretty popular and from that clip you guys will see that we got back a terrible sample it didn't go in the ear like i thought it would it was literally like a straight bar and then we got another Another sample a bit later on and it was a little bit better but it still wasn't there I actually have a sample of me right here that you guys can see this is the one that didn't make the cut so this is one of the versions of the earring 
and this is the approved version. So I don't know if you guys can see but this one is like longer, it's a bit thinner as well. This one has a little bit of a curve to it but it doesn't fit into the ear like how I wanted it. It's a bit too short so we had to go back again with this and then I also want to show you guys the old butterflies. This was the butterfly that we was going to go for and it just kept playing on my mind that I was like oh this butterfly is just not the one and then literally in the end I was like no I don't want this butterfly. I don't want this basic bitch butterfly so we even changed the butterfly into a more like proper hardcore butterfly that literally doesn't slip and slide everywhere and it's so so secure. This is one of the ear cuffs here that was meant to go into this pack. I actually have one of the ear cuffs on my ear right now and I just want to show you guys the difference in the size. This is the approved one and then this is one of the samples that we got and this is such a big ass huggy like who the hell wants this to be like dangling on the ear? Let me show you guys how big this one is. This is the huggy here. Can you guys just see? It's okay. If someone just wanted to be like, okay, tick that box off, they would have probably approved this. Me, on the other hand, I'm a crazy ass bitch. And I'm like, no, I want it to be small. I want it to be able to fit at the top here. I want it to be able to fit here. Like, you can't put this up here. Like, this is so big. It just looks like a horseshoe up there. It looks so freaking big. Again, I had to say no to that sample. And then they sent us this one here. This one's actually quite cute. It has like two diamantes in it. It actually goes really, really well with the rings. When I put this one on I felt like it was a bit too chunky I felt like it was too big it just looked like so obvious that it's a fake cuff I don't know how to explain it you just know when you know you know so in the end I said no to this one and then after a lot of trial and error we managed to get a baby little mini cuff and I feel like this one it just fits onto my ear so much better it looks like a real cuff that is the story of how this pack of earrings came to be <laughs> hey guys it's gonna be a little flashback moment again it is Thursday the 23rd of January at the moment I feel like I've been working on this collaboration for months now it feels like but today I actually get to see all of my first ever samples we actually tried out a new lab I'm sure you guys saw in the last clip but I wasn't too happy with how the stones were I thought it could be more shiny and there's things we could have improved so today I'm gonna go see more samples so I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Grand's actually here today as well, so he hasn't seen any of the samples. How much shinier are they? Oh my they? god, they're so much more shiny now. It looks like we were trying to compare it. It's like they have a film over there. Yeah, the it looks ones. like there's hairspray on this one. Yeah, exactly. So nice. It needs to have more big stones and small stones. I don't know if there is a way to do that. Yeah, I don't know if I like them this chunky. Yeah, yeah this one's a bit. They're too big. Yeah. That's, that's actually thick. This one. This one's too thick. Okay, guys. So we're trying to make the ultimate hoops, right? You know, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hole, and all that. These I don't like because they have too much gap in here, which I don't like. That I want it to be like encrusted in diamantes. And then we've got this one back, but this one's a lot chunkier. And then there's like even bigger gaps almost. Also, I don't like this. I don't like when earrings do this, so we need to find a better way to attach it into your ear without it looking too gappy. And then I also like the shape of these, but these are chunkier again. So yeah, we're still working on those. Work in progress, guys. I think they do still need work. I think they need to loop more. Yeah. I haven't tried them in, actually in yet, so I don't know how much. Definitely an improvement. <laughs> yeah, it looks more sparkly for yeah. sure. Yeah. But this is the old one compared to this new one. We basically want this to look like a stud, but it kind of hoops inside of your ear. That is cool. That is cool really though. Cool. I think it does look yeah. really cool. Like I think it should hook on both ways. Can you do it like that? Really oh, that's so cute. That was so much more comfortable. How comfy oh, is this? Oh my God, I love it! it. <laughs> <laughs> this one, we're trying to aim it to be cool and it looks like it's hooping through so your nice. ear. So we need to make this a bit longer. Guys, we've been working on this freaking ear cuff for ages. <laughs> it's so hard to get a good, comfortable ear cuff that doesn't weigh down your ear, but it also looks blingy. So this is a multi-pack and this hoop here, basically, I feel like this one needs to be thinner and also it needs to loop further back in the ear. You can kind of see where it ends. All these little things, guys, I have to think about. It's really hard as well because everyone has different shaped ears, so it's even more <laughs> of a struggle. So this is version one. You guys can see it's a straight bar here, which is not what we wanted. Then we wanted more of a curve which we're definitely getting there. And I feel like it just needs to curve a bit more and get a bit longer. And then, let me show you the cuffs, guys. Look at this cuff. Look how hench this one is. It's like huge. <laughs> and then this one's like a lot smaller, a bit more daintier. It's so much more comfortable. Yeah. And this is all the stuff that we've designed. So here it is. So we have two bits that you kind of attach together. So you can either wear it as just a little stud. So it's meant to be like this, guys, how it kind of like 
draped at the back. I feel like on me though, you need to cover up this low bit more. But I feel like these, it keeps rotating to the side. There's no way to keep the gem at the front. I don't know if we can make the stud a little bit longer here just in case you do have bigger ears like me. And even if it goes on a slightly smaller ear, it's still kind of covered. You can make the outer gems a little bit bigger. Yeah, maybe that. So not bring it down yeah. more. And okay. then just this one needs to come down a little bit. Just so it kind of touches here a bit more. So it kind of looks like it's more like dripping in diamantes. This hole here is a bit too small, so when you're trying to put this in, it's a bit small, so we need to make this hole a bit bigger. But the whole idea of this is you can wear this as a stud or you can wear it with the backing, so it's like a day to nighttime look. Hey, how cool is this, guys? I've never seen this before. So this goes behind your ear. Oh, I love it. That looks oh my God, great. That is so cute. Basically, we had two different factories sample two different earrings, right? Well, it's the same earring, but they sampled it in different ways. Okay, so we have one here that has this kind of like loop thing at the back, which I've never seen before, but this is actually a better way to keep the climber up the ear. But I don't like how this stone is slightly gray. Also, this dangly bit isn't sparkly, so we need to change that, but I love the backing of this. This one, I prefer the chain at the bottom because it has more bling. But we're gonna have to combine these two and make them like a little baby. What we designed, and then look. Here it is in real life, guys. It's so cute. Oh, so cool! Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh my god, let me see that over here. And can we make that's the diamantes cheap. go round all yeah, the I way? Yeah, I feel like this goes here as well, very straight. The bar. It needs to like yeah. curve yeah. up a bit. Oh my god, look at that! Oh, that's so cute! 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 Oh, that clip that you guys just saw was amazing. That was the first time I ever got to see all of the samples, like the whole lineup. And from that clip, you guys heard that we actually tried samples from quite a few different factories. And it was so annoying because some things I love from that factory, some things I love from that. So it was like you had to combine them into one. When you guys saw the little sample of this, it was so funny because this originally was on like a little bar, similar to this kind of climber, but I just really wanted to have like a way to change up the earring by having like a different backing. So that's where we came up with the idea of doing the butterfly backs. The only thing about this pair was that I didn't know to make them both symmetrical or should I do it on one side only. In the end, I said I really wanted to do it on one side, but a way that you can make it more symmetrical is if you actually take off the butterfly and swap them around to the other ear, that way you can have dangles on both sides and it can look symmetrical. I tried to think of as many ways as possible to be able to interchange the jewellery and have you buy like a couple of different packs and still be able to mix and match all of the jewellery and still look really unison. That was the main goal that I had from this collaboration. Oh my <laughs> god this looks so good on your ears. Guys look how pretty this cuff looks. Oh, I love it. It's got like a little thing here so you can adjust it so depending on how big your lobe is you can put in either hole but I think we're going to add another hole just in case you got a really really tiny lobe. I have to mention that freaking ear cuff. When I watch back that footage I'm like oh my god that ear cuff is huge and it's so stupid but I remember at the time thinking oh my god this is crazy. The ear cuff has come to life. It's so weird when you have like a design and then you see it in real life you're like oh my god that's kind of like what I wanted and it's crazy to think that this earring came from from this massive cuff right here. I'm just so much more happy with this design. I feel like it looks so much more dainty and so much more elegant. And then last but not least, I actually really wanted to bring out hair accessories. This is like top exclusive like info. When we first started talking, we actually had plans to bring out a little small collection for Coachella that was gonna come up. You guys know that hair accessories is such a big thing. There was a time where everyone had like hair slides in that had like cool funky names and stuff. And I really wanted to bring out hair accessories. This is the design that we come up with, this little hair accessory. And this is what we... Guys, this literally looks like Medusa's hair extension. Maybe we're gonna have to scrap this one, guys. I reckon just get, yeah. In that clip you guys saw that we actually drew up like a, a hair clip that kind of went into your ear and it had like diamantes kind of like coming off it. And when we got the sample, it was so horrific. It was like, we can't even fix this. We can't even send it back and be like, change this because the whole thing was just terrible. So we ended up scrapping that idea. So I really want to show you guys some hair accessories that didn't make the cut. And this was quite last minute that I ended up cutting all of the hair accessories from this collection. I just felt like the 
trend was just kind of dying down and you know everyone's goal whenever they bring out a collection is for everything to be a success and I wanted to be able to launch something knowing 100% that I feel like people would love this. In the end I end up cutting all the hair accessories but I actually do have the samples here so I thought it would be fun to share with you guys. So this right here was a sample it even has like the logo on it and everything so it was actually quite far down the production line until I would decide to scrap everything this is what you guys don't get to see this is their hair jewelry I really wanted to bring out something really cool something with, like dangles in your hair but when this came back it just wasn't the right type of hair grip that I wanted it's kind of like your generic kind of like hair slide which I didn't like I wanted something that had like bumps that actually grips onto the hair I just think this is still so cute though. I don't know. Maybe in the future we can release some type of accessory if you guys are interested in them. Let me know down below in the comments. I just wasn't feeling 100% sure that this will sell out. So in the end we dropped it. I actually have some more accessories that I thought I'd show you guys. So this was one of the samples that we got back. You can actually see how this could have like tied into the whole collection. I really wanted to do like a hairband. If you've done like a high slip ponytail to have like an encrusted piece of like jewellery into your hair. Like imagine Imagine this but I just thought this was so cool I don't know I felt like this looked too much like a wedding accessory which I didn't want it to look cheesy I wanted it to look like a cool jewelry line and then this one I'm actually really sad about so this one I actually got so many amazing samples so these are hair spirals I actually had so many of them to choose from we had some like really cute like dangly ones as well and basically if you guys don't know what hair spirals are these are like a proper major throwback to like my childhood you basically screw these into your braid it just looks like your hair is like encrusted with gems and this this was like such an amazing idea that I had for like Coachella to have my hair like a massive long braid and to have like a photo shoot and just like twist these into my hair and just make it look like my hair is like encrusted in gems. I just had all these ideas but in the end I was just like oh I don't know if people would get it. I don't know if people would like this. I actually had like a full 20 piece lineup. There were so many things guys that I had in mind for this collection. Like I feel like I'm the type of person to have all these ideas and I just need a good team around me to like make it happen. This is one of the jewellery pieces. So this is a necklace. I actually really wanted a necklace that was like you're dripping in gems. But when I got this sample I just felt like the stones were too big. I don't know it kind of reminded me of like a peacock. But when my sister saw this she actually I actually really love this so it made me think like oh my god maybe I should kind of stick with it and kind of like keep tweaking it it's actually really pretty now that I look at it it's actually like really sparkly the gems but in the end I was like mm, I'm not too sure I felt like this kept getting tangled as well we also have another pair of earrings that I wanted to show you guys this is another pair that didn't make the cut it's actually so crazy looking at this because when I designed this I basically wanted it to look like you had loads of hoops but it's just one earring so you can kind of get it from this I guess it just didn't look good guys like even this like just putting on the backing is so small can you guys see that there's hardly like no space between the stem and the back of the earring and I just felt like it just looks really really blocky so in the end we said no to this one bye bye sayonara and then this one guys I tried to make this work so much we had so many versions of this in the end we just couldn't make this one work in time for the deadline of the lineup because unfortunately there are deadlines when it comes to stuff like this like if it was up to me I'll just keep going and going and going and probably nothing will ever see the light of day because I'm just such a perfectionist like that so unfortunately this one didn't make the cut but this is another ear cuff this was the one that I really loved I really wanted like a bam ear cuff similar like this this earring right here had so many different rounds and in the end we managed to finally just about squeeze this one in because this one was about to be cut as well oh my god let me show you the version of this before this was the one I was wearing in Dubai like that's how late I made the changes because I was such a picky fucking bitch even in Dubai I didn't even have the full samples guys this version is what I had in Dubai and this is the final version there's not much difference so I felt like we was definitely getting there but there were still things in this one that I wasn't happy with I don't know if you guys see but for example can you guys see this big stone here I didn't like that big stone I felt like this big stone it was just too pointy it just looked like such a big beak at the top which I didn't like so in the end we actually changed out this gem and it was something I was really nervous about because I actually had all the samples of all the other ones but this was the only one that I didn't have the proper proper sample you guys saw in those previous clips you guys saw like a little glimpse of like the 
proper previous ones. I wanted to fill in every single gap with gems so we ended up making this bit here can you guys see it has like loads of like spiky bits here so that when you put it on your ear you can just see like just gems. I don't want to see any ear I just want it to be like oh my god that is like a freaking sparkly ass earring. We tried so many versions of this when we first got it, it was actually huge it was like such a big heifer and I was like no I want it smaller I still want it like dainty. But I don't know if you guys can see but when I look straight on the these gems they don't flow properly when you sit them like this they have like an even amount of gap but when it actually sits on your ear these two get all bunched together and I didn't like that I wanted it to be able to have like even gaps also this is the cuff that I didn't like as well this was so painful it kept pinching my ear we had so many problems with this cuff and I really tried to make it work I don't know maybe in the future we could try to rework this one what do you guys think about it do you guys like it or are you guys glad that it got the chop so this was the other pair of earrings that was going to go on the other side. I wanted both sides to be dangly, but I wanted it to be different at the same time. This side, I really liked how the dangle kind of went up. And then again with this one, it would have been another one of these designs where you can take off the back if you didn't want it. You can just wear a stud on one side. But yeah, this had so many problems and not enough time, unfortunately. So this one got the cut as well. I actually stopped vlogging when we went into the pandemic and there was a time honestly guys where I just kept getting bad news we actually had to push back our launch I think three times we was meant to launch for Coachella and then that got cancelled and then obviously the pandemic kind of hit and we was like oh my god what's happening and then we kind of saw an opening in maybe like June for my birthday and I was like oh that would have worked like oh my god for my birthday that would have been so fun and then that was like a no because we couldn't get back the samples because our factory ended up closing and they actually turned into a factory where uh, they made masks instead because at the time there was like a whole worldwide like shortage of masks and then we actually had to find a whole new lab and then resend off the samples that we already approved this just goes to show like even when you're feeling like you're down things are not going right you just have to keep pushing keep going don't be affected because in the end it's just so worth it okay so to end this video I actually got a couple of questions that you guys asked all about like what it's like working on a collaboration how does it feel to do a collaboration is it strong Stressful. Yes, it is so stressful. Basically, when a brand is approaching you, they are approaching you because they feel like you can sell items. That's basically why brands do collaborations, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't bother involving an influencer. When brands attach your name to their brand, it makes the item sell more. Now, how many times have you seen like a pair of eyelashes? You probably would never look twice at, but because an influencer has said that they designed them or has said that they have made them with that brand, it automatically makes you feel Feel like you want to look into that product more or be a bit more interested than just looking at the same pair of eyelashes but without the influencer associated yes it is a lot of pressure every time you release something it's like oh my god do I have the ability to sell I don't know if I do like I've never released a brand with my Morphe collaboration that was with three other influencers so I didn't feel the burden as much for my Lottie London one that one was UK only now that I think of it I've got such a worldwide audience why would I sign anything that is UK only I don't know why you only know by you live and you learn Learning and signing all these contracts that you didn't know. Everyone has hopes and goals that their collaboration will be really successful and the goal is to sell out of course. What was your favourite part of working on this collaboration? Oh my god there were so many amazing parts. There's nothing more rewarding than designing something, having something in your head and seeing it in real life. It is the most crazy like out of body experience ever and I can't even imagine when it comes to my own brand how that feeling is going to feel. Okay and then on the flip side someone asked what did I find the most challenging the most challenging thing a hundred percent was getting back the samples and being like that is nothing like what I expected or nothing like what I wanted and there was points where I was feeling like I don't know if we're ever gonna nail it and then I'm gonna be stuck in something that I'm like oh no I don't want to put my name to this there were some samples that we got back that we was like no no that was not it at all not even remotely close <laughs> honestly there's nothing in this collection that I wouldn't wear myself and I 
love every single piece in this collection which is why there's only 12 pieces you know like I could have easily just put out things like this that I didn't love I could have easily made like this a separate pack uh, where you guys had to buy the bigger hoops and then the smaller hoops separately and made more money that way like I could have done all this stuff but I was like no like, I want my collection to be so sparkly so amazing and such a good value for money and for you guys to be able to interchange them and wear them in different ways so you feel like you're getting more for your money if you guys can please show your support on the 19th of November this Thursday it will mean so much to me we're planning to launch at 6 p.m GMT time which I feel like will be an amazing time worldwide mark that date on your calendar please give me a little thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video we will be back with our regular vlog uploads I cannot wait to come back to you guys every single Sunday I've missed you guys so much this week also please subscribe because on Wednesday we have a video coming out with Danny where we do like a chatty get ready with me it was like so funny I got to answer you guys dilemmas and confessions it was so so funny so please stay tuned for that video and that's it for this one guys I'll see you in my next one bye oh hello oh my god why is my face so fat I've got the fattest face on earth and also how cringe I had a massive bogey in that clip still nothing's changed it was very day I'll probably have a bogey in my nose right now oh my god my lips are so dry i used a new liquid lipstick today and i was like oh my god i should put lip balm on underneath so let me just correct that with a bit of lip gloss you know lip gloss hides all the sins i know i keep doing this <laughs> oh my arm is like itchy scratch and sniff oh wow that was stinky wow wow that just smelled like raw chopped onions oh wow oh my god what is this in my hair oh my god i still have this where has that one gone? Oh, well, that's why this one didn't make the cart, did it? <laughs> so crazy, guys. Look at all of this. I am surrounded by jewellery. And this is what's going to be in the PR package. I've got all my jewellery laid out here. Oh, you guys, I freaking burnt my forehead. Oh, I burnt my forehead curling these little front bangs. And it literally touched my skin for like 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.1 second. It was so quick. And look, look at this bird mark. I've been left disfigured. God, it literally looks like a skid mark on my forehead. More skid marks. Ah!